And I would like to invite on stage Mr. Sagino Grant. And, uh, Mr. Sagino Grant, Alexa and I would like to present you with a special Lifetime Achievement Award from Oceanside International Film Festival. Uh, Mr. Grant, uh, if you would kindly come uh, with me right here, uh, I would like uh, to personally congratulate you uh, on this Lifetime Achievement Award. This is specifically for the work that you've done uh, and for your contribution in television and film industry. Uh, we know that you're a motivational speaker as well, but this is well deserved in your profession that this film festival celebrates. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, it's hard to find words to say, and I talk quite a bit. <laughs> I just want to thank the committee for this honor, and I promise you that I'll do my best to keep you on. You know, when I became involved in the movies, it wasn't my desire to be an actor. I'm a writer. And I was in uh, the Bay Area doing a writer's seminar. A gentleman came to me. He said, we're doing a commercial for my company that I work for. It's a Chrysler car dealership. He said, can you do it? And I said, yes. So he said, well, good. I won't have to be looking all over trying to find somebody to do this. He said, now, can you give me some background on what you've done? I said, what do you mean? He said, well, I'm talking about your acting, being on the stage. I said, well, when I was in the first grade, I was a reindeer in the Christmas play. <laughs> And that was my, 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 what I've done on stage. And he said, but you, you can do this commercial. I said, yes. And he said, how do you know that? I said, well, you wouldn't have come to me and asked me if I could do it if you didn't think I could. So I had to believe in myself. And I did. And that's how I became in the movies. I've done a number of film. And I'll always remember what that man told me. He said, I believe in you now. And I would like to say to everyone in the audience, especially our young, young people, don't give up. Get an education. Do what you can. Get a career. Not just a job. Get a career. Something that will sustain you through life. When we do this, we make our elders proud of us. Our elders today, among my people, have neglected their duty, their responsibility, and that's to tell a story about our people, to tell our children about the traditions of our people. Up here this afternoon, you've seen these dancers, these songs that were sung. I know every one of these dancers and the singers. I have a gentleman out here in the audience who I dance with. My grandson brought me up here. His dad has kept the ways of our people. This young man can speak his tongue fluently. That makes me proud when I see some of our people doing this. We need to give, have back our pride. We need to always be proud of who we are. Every, every nation, every group of people need to keep your traditions, need to keep who you are. Remember, if you know yourself, 
you'll always get somewhere, you know, with the earth. I have a adopted daughter, Mariana Toskers. She was in a movie that was quite a movie. It's called Christmas in the Clouds. When I seen her in this movie, I wanted to meet her, but I, I hesitated. And it wasn't until maybe 10 years after that that we finally got to meet my, two, my adopted daughter. So there's a lot of things that happened to me since I've been in this business. Hopefully, I'll leave my mark somewhere along the trail. And I want to thank you, Festival Year, for doing what they've done for me. I feel very proud. Thank you very much.